Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How everyone is doing today? And this is my favorite WWF Attitude Era Women Wrestlers. And I'm gonna talk about what is my favorite women wrestlers in the Attitude Era, in the WWF Attitude Era when wrestling was cool back in the day because I grew up with the Attitude Era. I grew up with WCW versus WWF and ECW and like wrestling was the shit back in those days, believe it or not. Wrestling was like everything growing up and now Wrestling is in a standstill on what is best for wrestling, what is not best for wrestling. Um, people's not really into wrestling because it's too much toxicity, it's too much cancer culture. People focus on the politics, then what is going on with everything else so i decided to do this video to talk about what is my favorite wrestler woman wrestler and what they mean to me and why they are my favorite woman wrestlers so i got the list down it's not like my top 10 or or my top um favorite wrestler it's all about all these women who inspire me as a young girl as a little girl watching wrestling and i feel that these women does pay the way for new women to be who they are today and these women leave an impact on wrestling and they don't get the proper credit as they deserve and i feel that some of these women should be in the hall of fame and should be honor of who they are as women in wrestling or a woman wrestler or wrestler period because they the one that make women wrestling interesting in modern day wrestling so so this woman i idolized growing up and she was the first black woman to win the WWF Women's Champion and her name is Jacqueline and the reason Jacqueline is like one of my favorite WWF Attitude Era Women Wrestlers is because not only she was the first black woman to win WWF woman's title, but she was the first woman to capture the cruiserweight title also. And what made me love about Jacqueline is that she had so much toughness and so much charisma that you could sit down and just watch her wrestle for hours and this woman is very hard working this woman is the one that pay her dues and get her respect and I, that's why i love jacqueline jacqueline is that woman that you allies because she went through a lot in her career to make who she is today and she say in interviews that 
she has to wrestle like a guy and have to faint like a guy to get the proper um, business idea, the proper directions in her life. And not only that, she's helped a lot of people. Like Jacqueline is a type of people that they are tough as nails, but have that sense of kindness and a sense of well spoken. Like there's something about Jacqueline, like she's mean, she's tough, she gets to the nitty gritty, she could take a punch, she could take a hit, but she's very soft for the people who are less fortunate, who are in difficult situation. And she want to help those people. I feel like Jacqueline is like woman empowerment to me because a woman empowerment is someone who take a stand about issues and address them in a very definite way, address them in a more strong way intellectual way and that's Jacqueline and she is like one of my top favorite women wrestlers in my list right here and the next one by the way Jacqueline is a hall of famer as well and she got the respect that she deserved but this one in my list should get the ultimate respect. And I don't know why WWE did not add Luna Vachon to the Hall of Fame. Yes, Luna Vachon is one of my favorite wrestlers in the Attitude Era when I was growing up. Luna Vachon is a person that she didn't get the push that she deserved because of her look. And I feel like WWE always pushing these sexy, beautiful models that cannot wrestle and get a push because that is WWE, but people like Luna Vachon who wrestle in Japan, who travel around the world wrestling and helping other wrestlers to be where they at today and she not even in the Hall of Fame in WWE. And I feel like it's really sad, especially the things she went through as well growing up in a wrestling royal family, the Vajans and and her story. It's just amazing. And it just it just breaks my heart for her. But also she give me the sense of understanding on what is like to be a wrestler, what is like to be a woman in the business. And it's like you have to work twice as hard as a man, but there is a woman who do not look like her but get, get more opportunity, get more attention because she is gorgeous, she is sexy. Um, guys focus on a woman's sex appeal instead of what they will bring to the table. And Luna Vashad deal with that in her career because she was different. And I, that's what I like about her too. Luna Vashad is so charismatic she is so different she is so out there like when she do a promo you felt it you feel it and it's sad it's sad to me that she's not here to see how women wrestling is nowadays and i feel like there are other women's that love luna Vashad and love her kindness and her honesty and like women like Lita, Angelica Havoc and um, who else? 
there's other female wrestler as well talk about her saying that she should be in the Hall of Fame and she should get more credit more credit when credit is due because some people don't know that oh yeah Medusa Medusa had an interesting story about one of us Sean like Medusa want to drop the title on Lula Shad and Lula Shad tell Medusa I'm not gonna do it because um the company like she felt like Lula Shad felt that it's the company right to book her as champion and that is so amazing for Lufa Sean and also Medusa just Medusa like telling Lufa Sean that I will let you become champion because you deserve it and Lufa Sean like no I, I had the company to decide and I feel that is the reason why um people felt so bad for her because she worked her butt off she traveled around the world and WWE like treat her like garbage and treat her like she is nothing and I understand why she has some sadness as and bitterness towards WWF or WWE because how they treat women like her, like women who work hard and and help other women to elevate like Sable and WWE just like <laughs> I'm not going to give her the WWE title to her, the WWE woman title to her, because she's not fit the role, what guys want or what we want. And it's very sad. But the next one, Ivory. Who loves Ivory? Come on now. Ivory was awesome to me when I was a kid. Ivory could talk in a mic. And she is the best heel in the WWF Attitude Era, hands down. Especially when she had her feud with China, the cat. My favorite is Fabulous Moolah and Mae Young. Oh my God, like this woman is Mike Gold and very entertaining. And I, that's why I feel like Ivory is one of the best talkers in my opinion in the WWF attitude era in my opinion because that woman is so underrated when she talks to the mic and when she cut promos and I feel that the WWF of Vince McMahon shouldn't push her to the moon when she do these promos and talk to them, especially when she was in Right to Censor. Oh my God, she was the ultimate heat magnet or heel magnet because when she was in Right to Censor, I did not like her <laughs> when I was young because not only that, but she's so intimidating. Like the outfit and all the way she slit her hair back, the way she dressed. It's like she become another person. And that the reason why I like her because when she is in these feuds, in these storylines, she owns it in storylines. She make people 
to believe in her character and what she say and what she do and everything about Ivory is just pure go and pure magic and she's like one of my favorite women wrestlers at all time in my opinion especially when she had her few with China and when China had that neck injury and she was like Oh, she was, she was nasty. (laughs) That's my opinion. She was nasty with China in that feud. But however, she got over, you know, and she got China over because of that. And also her feud with Tori, not Tori Wilson, but Tori. And that's the next one that I like to discuss too. Tori, oh my goodness, Tori was so underrated as well. Like, she's so unappreciated in WWF slash WWE because um, the Vince Man in a bad stage policy incident. Um, there is rumor that um, someone backstage or Vince Man want to have sex with her. And she refused. That's what that's that's the urban legend or the urban rumor about that. But however, Tori was so underrated, in my opinion. And she's like one of my favorite wrestlers. And the reason why she's one of my favorite wrestlers is because she could work. Okay. Tori could work her ass off. And she's still not woman champion. It's crazy to me. And also, and she is one of those women wrestlers that can wrestle, but but being put in lousy storylines. And she disappeared out of WWE or WWF at that time. And I feel that Tori should be inducted to the Hall of Fame as well. Same thing as Luna Vachon. And I feel like Tori is an amazing wrestler. If you watch her matches in Japan, yes, Tori, wrestle in Japan and she's pretty good and it's sad that whatever happened backstage and her and Vince McMahon I understand why um Tori left the company as soon as possible because of it but to me I feel like Tori is one of my favorite women wrestlers in the Attitude Era. And my favorite part with Tori is that when she betrayed Kane and joined um, Generation X, oh my goodness, she was, she was badass, you know, she was awesome, but that's um my um favorite women wrestler here is tori and the next one is queen of the ring and the professor and the ring gail kim the unstoppable impossible fearless amazing Gail Kim. She is a Hall of Famer to the T. And this woman is woman empowerment. She's a woman that come to WWE and debut and win the title on her debut. 
She got the look. She got everything. Like she is like bad ass to the T. And the way WWE treat her, what make her who she is today. This woman is a legend, okay? She is a legend in her own right. She went to impact to make herself a legend, to make herself a icon, to make herself a one of the best women wrestler there is today. Gail Kim wasn't treated right with WWE and WWF, but she took her talents and her gifts elsewhere and make it her make her name a brand in another company that make her a Hall of Famer. And Gail Kemp had the right to be a Hall of Famer. And she helped to bring a woman division with respect. She made awesome calm. She made the beautiful people. She made all these wonderful characters come to light. An impact. No woman could do that but Gail Kim. Gail Kim changed the faith on woman wrestling. What woman wrestling supposed to be. That's Gail Kim. And the reason why I love Gail Kim and why she's my favorite woman wrestler in the Attitude Era it's because, it's not because of her looks, not because she looks sexy, not because she looked hot, because she loved wrestling. She care about wrestling. She's passionate about wrestling. Like every time I watch Gail Kim, she keep approving, not only for herself, but other women who she feel with, who she wrestled with, are proven. She made women to step up her game along with her. And that's why I love Gail Kim. Gail Kim remind me of those typical wrestlers that passionate about wrestling and doesn't care about fame and money but care about the sport, care about wrestling. That's Gail Kim. And I respect Gail Kim. And I, I want Gail Kim to stay in wrestling. I know that she retired from wrestling because of health reason, but also I love her doing a lot of sub backstage activity. Like I heard that she's a producer and an agent to look for other talents. And I love her views on equal opportunities for men and women. If I was Gil Kim, I really want to see her training new talent training new people. I really want to see that from Gail Kim because I feel like she is a professor and she doesn't know it, but to me she is. If Gail Kim was to go back to in-ring wrestling or just teaching people how to wrestle, she will see that she is the master. She is the queen of the ring. And I feel that Gail Kim should be abducted to WWE, but uh, I feel 
she's a right being abducted to impact wrestling and she make impact wrestling who sh- who who impact women wrestling to me so let's go to the next one Victoria who loved the Willow Peak that's one of my favorite wrestling moves at all time the Willow's Peak and when she do it it give me chills it give me excitement and oh my goodness Victoria is so underrated oh my god like she got the look she got everything she got the charisma i like her when she do a crazy gimmick it's like she bring this intensity she bring this excitement when she comes in the ring like her storyline is just so out there and i love her because she's just one of those wrestlers that she could go by far the best superstar in WWE's history because she got so much charisma and she got so much talent in the ring. And one thing I like about Victoria, that woman could dress. I don't care what anybody said, when she come out of the ring like her ring tire everything is just amazing even when she come out and start dancing i get hype up because she is something about victoria that she's just so creative like everything she does is so creative like even when she's in impact and she be doing these weird and out there storyline but it's so entertaining to watch even when she um have a few with Gail Kim and Impact it's just like it's amazing to watch you know because she she is Victoria and I love Victoria I love her few with Trish Stratus like when she was fighting with Trish Stratus it was very iconic you know like like they i think it was a street fight match and they got into it and i was like watching it i was like oh my goodness this woman is batshit crazy but i'm loving it for some reason it's like it's something about victoria that i just love to watch she's she's a she's a very well skilled in the ring like for me in this video i like women wrestlers or wrestler in general who have some type of impact in wrestling and also especially when it comes to the mic when it comes to the gimmick when it comes to um fashion when it comes to in-ring ability like i'm more into the in-ring ability than the astral gimmick and victoria got one of the best in-ring moveset that is very unique and very different like i say earlier the willow's peak is one of my favorite moves and now uh, I think Pake and Royce is start using Victoria's Willow's Peak, which is so cool and I love to see. But, but Victoria, hands down, had the best Willow's Peak. And no one could not do, do it better than Victoria. I'm sorry. So my next one is molly holly i love molly holly as a wrestler and i feel like she is so underrated and people need to look her up because molly holly did so much for wwf at era 
even she's so transparent and she's so honest and she's so real and also I just love everything about her and her attitude as a woman in wrestling like some people don't don't know this that Molly Holly helped train Trish Stratus and other women wrestlers to be where they at today and Molly Holly was the one that inspired other women wrestlers to be wrestlers and she helped them to level up to be who they are today without Molly Holly I feel Trish Stratus will not be up there with Lita that is my opinion and I feel like Molly Holly is amazing wrestler like she is like one of the first women to do a crazy somersault on a person and I remember when I was um when I was a kid and she debuted and she debuted to attack Lita because at that time like Lita and the Hardy Boys and she came out to help Crash and Hardcore Holly against the Hardy Boys and Lita and Marty Holly did a somersault on Lita I think or one of the Hardy Boys and when I saw that I was like oh my goodness who is she and I've been following Molly Holly since then even when I watch Molly Holly matches I love how she wrestle like Molly Holly is one of those great women workers that people don't talk about but discourage because they are jealous of her. Yes, I believe that WWE is low key, doesn't like women like Molly Holly, who all about woman empowerment and all about wrestling, how to work as a wrestler, how to be the best wrestler when you had the right to be yourself and love yourself that is Molly Holly and that's the reason why I love Molly Holly and why she's like one of my favorite women wrestling attitude ever especially I love her transition as well like some people don't know that Molly Holly had the most transitioning as a woman wrestler in WWE. Like in the beginning, she was Molly Holly. Then she was in a love angle with Spike Dudley, and and she break she break up with him to be with Hurricane Helms to become a superhero. And then she betray Hurricane Helms and became this woman who always believed in purity and like conservative woman who all about not showing your body and be in power of who you are as a woman and guys don't like that like guys don't like women who are conservative who who knows about who they are as women that's why that's what that is why I like about Molly Holly is that she just transparent and her moves and everything that make her a legend in WWE and I hope that she is adapted to the Hall of Fame so next is Jazz 
the reason she's one of my favorite women wrestlers in the Attitude Era, if you follow Jads in the 90s, this woman is badass. Like, the look, the style, everything. She brings this energy when she comes in the ring. And when Jazz come in the ring, everybody go crazy. Especially when she was in ECW. And when she was in ECW, oh my goodness, she was pure gold. She's not those typical cat fight girly girls valet that pull hair and all this stupid stuff this woman ecw jazz will beat the shit out of you okay jazz will go head to head to anyone that stand in her way and she could take a beating oh my goodness she could take a beating inside the ring and she could do these crazy submissions and do these like crazy move sets on people that made me become a fan of hers even when she was debuting in WWE I remember <laughs> And I, I don't know why I remember this. When Jazz debuted in WWF at that time, Jazz debuted at Survivor Series. Lisa was in the ring, all the women was there. You see Jazz debuting. And people went nuts. People went crazy. I remember. I remember Jazz ran in the ring and did this six slam on Lisa, and I was like, "Damn!" But I get it because some people don't know that Lisa was Miss G Miss. Uh, Congeniality. She was Lisa was mystery, mystery, Miss Congeniality when her and Jazz was in ECW, and that explains why Jazz came after Lita to have this little feud. And I get why Jazz attack Lita and I think that's the moment I was like she is gonna be a star she gonna be bad ass and lord behold she was bad ass especially her her feud with Trish Stratus and I don't care what anybody said people said that Lisa and Trish have the amazing food no it's Jazz and Trish and here's my reason why Jazz and Trish is one of my favorite my favorite feuds because Jazz would be being the shit out of Trish Stratus like Jad put Trish Stratus through hell. And I think that's why Trish Stratus of who she is today. Because of Jazz. Like Jazz got her to be more tough. And be more rigid when stepping in the ring with her. And that's what I like about Jazz. Jazz all about if you want to be in the ring with me. You got to bring it. And she going to push you in your limit. That's why I feel like Jazz is one of my favorite wrestlers in the Attitude Era. I don't care what anybody said. She's one of my favorite wrestlers because 
she could wrestle. She wrestled like a guy. And she just take names. So the next one is China. I'm going to tell you why I picked China as one of my favorite women wrestlers in WWF Attitude Era. The reason why she's one of my favorite women wrestlers in a WWE or WF Attitude Era is because she is a woman who make her mark. She is a pioneer. She is a war breaker. She is a she is the ninth wonder she's a ninth wonder of the world. She was the woman that could do it all. Like she's the woman who was close to be the first woman to be WWF world heavyweight champion close and I feel if she was not in a situation with Triple H and Stephanie McMahon and X-Pac she would be equal like The Rock I believe it because I feel like China was something special and something courageous and something remarkable and I feel like people who knew China know this about her even when she passed away I feel that she shouldn't die that's my opinion that's that's me I feel like she shouldn't die she shouldn't pass away because I feel like in her last moments she was trying to get a second chance. She was trying to repair a lot of things with people in wrestling in WWE or WF. She trying to get back to who she is as China. And for her to just go out like that, it just saddens me, especially she was adopted to the Hall of Fame with Triple H and the Generation X. And I feel Shawn Michaels shouldn't, in, shouldn't introduce her to the Hall of Fame in WWE, in my opinion, because I feel that she did so much in that company. So much. There are lots of memories about China in WWF, especially in the Attitude Era. I think that my favorite one, uh, it's, it's so many China storylines that I love and it's hard to choose. And I feel it's too many favorite. Like, like she's just such an amazing woman and also amazing person. And she just... It's just like China was the pioneer, the impact on modern day women wrestling and, and the gender wrestling too. Like she was the one that, use me, that bring some, some excitement. Like even if she come out people cheer for her even oh oh yeah this is what my favorite one about china um when she came out with a bazooka gun and she shot the bazooka gun up when she became the um international champion she was she became the first international champion and she was shooting the gun and i remember as a young girl i was like this woman 
is a star in my eye. Like, she is badass. And she should be missed, you know? And I'm trying not to get emotional. I feel that if China wasn't in WWE, it will not be women's to be in a situation they is today without her. You got Beth Phoenix who idolized China and you got other women wrestlers who love wrestling, who care about wrestling, idolize China of what she did in wrestling. And for them to say that China is one of the greatest women wrestlers at all time, I agree with them 100%. So the next one is... Queen of Extreme, Lita. She is one of my top favorite woman wrestler in the ad to her. She is number one in my list. Hands down, number one. And people telling me like, who is your favorite woman wrestler in the WWE or WWF ad to her? I say Lita. Not Tris, Lita. I just say all my favorite women's wrestler in this video. Like I said before, I was never a Trish Stratus fan to begin with. I respect Trish Stratus, but I was not a fan of her. But I'm a huge fan of Lita. A huge, huge, huge fan of Lita. Lita is my number one buy. Lita is the one that make woman wrestling interesting. Lita is the one to bring good memories in WWE, especially the w WWF attitude era like she's the one that pioneers women wrestling like she's the one that made trish stratus who she is today and that's why trish stratus always considered lita her best friend lita is the one that helped her to be where she at today because without Lita, it would be no Trish Stratus. And that is the truth. And that is facts. Like, Lita is the one that, the one that changed everything in wrestling when it comes to women. Because you never see women doing a moonsault in, um, in America wrestling, okay? Like, you can see it in Mexico and Japan, but you never see it in America, and that's the difference. You see Lisa did a moonsault on people. You see Lisa doing a um, hurricanrana on people, on men. You see Lisa getting bust open and put through tables, put through everything. She did it all. She did it all. And she was in the infamous TLC match, was so awesome. Um, she just, she, she just amazing. Like she is the ultimate woman wrestler in a WWF era. Even when she come out of the ring, People shout her name, Lita, 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 Lita. You could tell that she was over, okay? You could tell that she is over. And people to this day still remember Lita. To this day. You know, I have friends who are wrestling fans, like Lita is number one to them. She's number one. 
like all my friends that I grew up with or still watch wrestling, they say Lita is number one to them. And especially um, when she was doing a lot of things in WWF, especially she was everywhere. Like if you was growing up in the 90s, right? <laughs> Lisa was everywhere. Lisa was, was different. She was edgy. She is not no typical fashion model or model who tried to be a wrestler or she's none of that. She is a wrestler. She is the one that bring something to the table and bringing something new. Without Lita, you don't see Charlotte Flair. You don't see um, other women that come before her. Like you don't see Sasha Banks. You, you get where I'm coming from. She's the one. Like she's one of my favorites uh, all time. Lisa is number one to me. Not Trish. Not China, not Jazz, not any of these women. I say Lita, and China is second. And that's the two that have an impact on me while I was a young girl watching wrestling. Lita and China. Because they make their mark. They make women to be more respected. They make women to be seen and heard. They make men want to watch them and look at them. And to see what they're going to do next. That's Lita in China. Okay. So, this is Ty Williams. Good day and 